<laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Hmm. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Attention, passengers! We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? It looks like... Haley Turtles, they've taken over that platform! Huh? What do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. Of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Let's keep going, then. Go forth and witness this world, my... Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. Are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine, but I think the Traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. Oh, cut her some slack. The Traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let her nap for a bit. Uh, but my... my leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set her down on the grass over there, Hat Guy? Ha! <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Uh, uh... Ah, she's awake! 
Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. P Hi, Mon! Oh, no. It's alright. I... I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. A uh, traveler, Nilu, do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah, he's a student at the Academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. Well then... Hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. Wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. Guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here? That's what happened with Navia and Nilu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, Misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait. We came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! <laughs> 